Hello lovely Guild Chums. Uh, during lockdown I've been making cocktail demonstration videos on YouTube. Movie star cocktails. And when I was asked if I'd do something with a newsletter I thought yes I'll do something really special and I will recommend a cocktail, a dish to cook and a movie that all are linked together. So here we go. I'm going to be demonstrating, sort of, how to make a giant martini. It's not giant because it's huge. It is only served in a little tiny glass, like a little baby sham glass. But it's called a giant martini after the film Giant, which starred Liz Taylor and Rock Hudson. Now, Liz Taylor and Rock Hudson kind of invented this little drink because it was so hot in Marfa, Texas, where this was filmed, that they like to rustle themselves up a nice chocolate martini. So the ingredients for the giant martini are two ounces of chocolate syrup. Hershey's syrup is trad if you can get hold of it. You can get it in some of the bigger supermarkets. And one ounce of the difficult to pronounce Kaluha. Kaluha? So that's like a coffee liqueur delicious and two ounces of vodka i got this teeny tiny bottle of vodka by mistake in my first Ocado order of lockdown i thought it was going to be a big bottle <laughs> doesn't matter i've nearly drunk it all so that's fine so you put lots and lots of ice in your cocktail shaker because uh you know it's hot in Marfa, texas and actually it's really hot in london tonight so i'm making this really nice and cold I've got all the ingredients in my cocktail shaker with lots of ice. Shaking it up, shaking it up, shaking it up. <laughs> and then pour it. Uh, if you can chill your glass ahead of time, that's good. You know, because you want it super, super cold. And here we go. Now, this is more like a pudding. Pudding, alcoholic pudding, rather than a sort of aperitif cocktail. I think this is nice to have after dinner. It's very sweet and chocolatey, a bit more like a pudding. The finishing touch is to sprinkle some chocolate shavings over the top. So there we go, a few chocolate shavings. So the dish I'm going to recommend that you have with your screening of Giant, it's a very long film. It's a lovely film. I think it's a really good film. It's a kind of Sunday afternoon film. So I would suggest that you have something nice to eat first. Then you have a few of these as you watch Giant. And the dish I'm going to recommend is from this book called Cooking with the Stars. And there's a fantastic recipe in here by the beautiful Elizabeth Taylor. It's chicken steamed in wine. And I'm going to put the recipe in the box underneath the YouTube video. So if you're watching this within the newsletter, you can just click into the YouTube version and you will find Elizabeth's recipe. I've cooked this loads of times. It's absolutely delicious. Um, she cooks the chicken in wine and she actually specifies Sautern. So fancy. So uh, you can enjoy your chicken steamed in wine and then you can enjoy your giant martini. Uh, as well as Rock Hudson and Elizabeth Taylor, James Dean is also in Giant. And unless you're actually from Texas yourself, you may not be able to understand a single word he says. Because his accent in this film is crazy. But you know what I say? He looks so gorgeous, I can forgive him anything. So, it's a great movie. It's a great cocktail. And it's a great chicken dish so have fun and uh, enjoy sprinkling a little stardust around your kitchen cheers <laughs>